Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so happy it's Friday. <laughs> it's just been a great week, but I'm happy it's Friday because Christmas is next week and we have the weekend now and I've just been getting a lot of things done. So when Friday hits, that means I got a lot of things done during the week and I just feel so accomplished. I don't know why, but I just do. And I love my Fridays because I love to just sit down here and chit chat with you guys. I have lots of things to talk about. Um, first off, welcome. If you are new, I hope you subscribe and stay a while. On Fridays, I like to talk about like things I've been loving during the week. Um, and sometimes it's more than just during the week. Things I've tried, um, things I've drank, <laughs> things I've ate, just little stories here and there. I just, I don't know, I just kind of like to use this as my time to catch up with the week. Like, hey, check in, what's been going on? Um, so looking at my stuff here, I have quite a few things. I kind of want to make this a little bit longer of a Friday Loves, <laughs> which all of mine are long, so longer meaning, I don't know, 30 seconds. Um, because next Friday is Christmas, so I will not have a Friday Loves next Friday. And so this is going to be the last Friday Loves of the month, of the year, quite frankly, actually. Um, so I have a lot of things to talk about. Um, tomorrow is Chit Chatterday, and I'm going to have a holiday look up. And then Tuesday, I will not have a video because it's like a couple days before Christmas. I'll probably actually be filming that day. Um, but the next video I'm going to put up is going to be um, Chit Chatterday the 26th, the day after Christmas. So a week from tomorrow will be the next video after tomorrow that you'll see from me. I kind of want to take next week off because it's Christmas. Um, but I will have a video up on the 26th. And I think this is what I'm planning. I have it all laid out here for you guys. What I think I'm going to do is I, this past Tuesday, I put up a haul. And I want to do a look using the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I haven't even done anything besides swatch it yet. And I want to incorporate maybe the liquid lipsticks I purchased as well, just to kind of do like a New Year's Eve look, I think, is what I'm kind of planning. So if that sounds good to you, then it sounds good to me. Um, so yeah, I told you about the look, and I told you about the next time you'll see a video from me. Let's get into the favorites. Um, my wine I've been drinking this week is, I didn't, show, I didn't bring it up here because I talk about it all the time because it's like a throwback wine. I always, always have it. On my wine rack, it's the Apothic Red. If you want a wine recommendation, like you don't know what to try, you're going to some holiday parties, you don't know what to bring, you don't know what people like, just bring Apothic Red. Trust me, it'll everybody there, even if you're not a huge wine drinker, I think you might like it. It's going to be, it, it's, it's not as um, a wine-y type wine as, say, a Pinot Noir would be. It's really easy drinking. It's delicious. It's a throwback fave. It's an always fave of mine. So that's what I've been drinking. For coffee, I went to the grocery store after the gym because my son, we got in the car and he had to pee really bad. And <laughs> and I was like, well, the grocery store is right around the corner. And so I needed to pick up a few things anyway. So I don't know why I told you that. But anyways, we ended up at the grocery store. And when you're at the grocery store, you, for me, I usually go in needing something and I come out with a cart full. That's what happens when I go to any store, quite frankly. Target, all the time, grocery store. I love food, I love grocery shopping. I'm probably one of the minority, but I really enjoy it. Because I'm buying food, for goodness sake. It's not like you're buying poison. You're buying delicious food. And so anyways, I ended up down the coffee aisle and they had a bunch of like seasonal coffees and like new ones I have never tried and so I bought a slew of them. <laughs> I am stocked with like liquor, I'm stocked with wine and I'm stocked with coffee. Like. I'm a happy woman right now. Um, so I've been drinking this coffee, and I've had it in the past, but they've kind of repackaged it. Um, this is the Green Mountain Coffee. It says limited edition, so run out and get it, because who knows how long it's going to be available. Um, Golden French Toast. Now, this smells so good. Like, you are brewing this, and it smells like you're flipping French toast on the griddle with some hot butter and some maple syrup. Seriously, it is so divine. And it's not a fake flavor, it's not overly flavored, you know, because sometimes I'll drink a flavored coffee and it'll give me a headache or just like, it's too much. It's like, ugh, this is divine. Golden French toast. Pour yourself a cup of this, buy some. This would be great on Christmas morning, quite frankly. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. Christmas morning, I'm going to do this with some pancakes or some French toast. My kids aren't big on French toast, but they'll eat pancakes, like... I'm like, can't you just eat French toast? It's so much easier than having, because when I make pancakes, I make them homemade. 
which doesn't take that much longer than say the box but I like the flavor more or whatever but anyways they're not big on it so it's good okay let's get into let's do hair I want to talk about this because I talked about this a long time ago and this is still the same bottle but what I want to get see all this volume action right here you know I tease my hair which isn't that good to do so I like to use a spray to help um, keep it up but you can use hairspray and stuff but I kind of like this and this is so cheap like seriously I think this was less than five dollars L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray so what I do is I part my hair where I want to tease and then I take the comb pull my hair up spray a little bit of this and then I tease it and it will stick straight up um let's see it says spray directly on roots and use a comb to tease the hair. So yeah, I spray a little bit of this in and then I and then I tease her and it stays. Like it stays all day. It's great stuff. Um this I don't know if this comes in any other hold level, but this says a hold level of three. Strong hold. So yeah. Check this stuff out if you are struggling with the bump situation, because I struggled with it for years. Um a good spray will help hold it so it doesn't, you know, like fall down during the course of the day or fall down five seconds after you attempt to do this. Um, so that was that. Okay. Um, another thing, I got this as a gift from my friend, Amy. This is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask. Anti-wrinkle. And we all need that, don't we? Um, <laughs> this is, okay, so it's more of like a natural thing. Free of parabens, free of formaldehyde, free of artificial coloring, not tested on animals, naturally derived ingredients. It's just more of like a natural face mask. This is the hydrating one. This is what it looks like. So it has this um, cover on it. So you wash your face and it says you remove the blue protective film from the mask and then you put the face it on your face for about, it says 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so I put this on in the tub my kids came in and they're like, mommy, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, mommy just, I mean, this takes work, you know, I don't just wake up like this. Um, and I thought it was really nice. It was really hydrated and it smelled good too. Um, I love coconut, quite frankly. It's like my favorite. Um, this says that it's activated by vitamin A rich rhubarb extract. So give these a try. I, I quite frankly enjoyed it. I thought anything that's really hydrating, um, I'm all about because it is winter and there is zero moisture in this air where we live. So this, this is great stuff. Um, so that was my skincare thing I was testing out this week and last week. Um, all right, makeup. So this week, actually this month, um, I've been working on the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This was in my Focus Basket. I really do like this. This is the first primer I ever purchased, ever, uh, several years ago. Um, I had never heard of a primer at, at the time, and I was like, what, what's, what's a primer? What do I need that for? Um, and so this was the first one I had ever purchased, and this is not the same one, thank, thank the Lord. I don't hold on to it that long. Um, this is a great primer. Quite frankly, I own a lot of different things. Um, I just like this. Now this is silicone based, but it, it's it's a non-clogging dimethicone that is in this. Um, so I really find that this not only fills in your pores and fine lines, but it just really creates a nice, smooth base for your makeup to glide onto your skin. It's not heavy. It's not lotion-like. Um, I don't know if I like the lotion ones. I have some. But I don't know if I feel like they really smooth out any sort of texture I got going on. This does. And I really do enjoy this. This is kind of like my fallback um, primer. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm working on finishing this up because this is one of the oldest primers I have in my collection. So I'm trying to like rotate my makeup right now and really focus on using things um, on a daily basis that need to be used up kind of thing. So I've been loving this. I definitely recommend this. I think you should check that out. Um, I'm listening for a child because he's supposed to be sleeping. One moment. Okay, so for foundation, and I think I use this in tomorrow's video actually. I think you'll see this in action, but I've been nonstop with this combo actually because it gives a really flawless appearance. 
It is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This is also in my focus basket. I might not have put it in the video, but this is what I'm focusing on using because it's one of my older foundations. So like I said, I'm rotating things. Um, it's a little bit light for me. Well, I don't know. I'm getting super, super pale right now. <laughs> and this is the shade 1.2. Um, it's not the lightest one that they have, but it's darn near. Um, this is a 15-hour wear foundation, medium to full coverage, um, SPF 10, really natural, flawless finish. It's a beautiful foundation. I've always liked this. You know, this is one of the first foundations I ever tried in the high-end world, and I wore this on my wedding day. It's just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It photographs beautifully. It does not look like foundation on your skin. You just look flawless, and so definitely recommend this foundation. Um, it's just a great one, truly. But I've been topping it with the Cover FX Cream Foundation. Now, I like to use a beauty blender to apply this. Um, the brush that is sold to apply this, let me grab it for you. Um, I used it today, but I don't love it. I prefer to apply this with my Beauty Blender. Um, it's this brush right here. It's just a, uh, is this a goat haired brush? But anyways, you kind of just like dip it in there and I find you almost have to like stipple it, which is why I prefer to use the Beauty Blender. Um, I tried like this motion with the brush and that was a no-go. Um, but I like to put this on top, primarily in like the center of my face just to give me more coverage because things are already kind of blended out with the foundation. On the outside where I need more coverage, I put this on. Um, this is the shade N20. This particular foundation comes in a slew a slew of colors. Um, there's cool tones, neutral tones, and uh, warm golden tones, which is G. Um, but this is the neutral toned in, the sh in 20, which is kind of like a fair light situation. Um, you can definitely find your shade in this foundation. I don't like this foundation on its own. I think it's, a, it's I don't know, it's complicated on its own. Uh, but I like to pair it on top of something else. You do have to set this because this bad boy likes to travel. Um, and transfer and just quite frankly dance around on your face. So you must set this. I set this with powder and I set it with um, a setting spray. But the flawless situation is why I enjoy it. And it's cool. It's cool on top of stuff. So that has been my combo constantly when I'm wearing a full face of makeup. When I'm not wearing a full face of makeup um, or I'm going to the gym or I'm just going out to run errands, I've been wearing the Smashbox CC Cream. I am down to just um, two CC creams right now, the IT Cosmetics and this one. Now, let me tell you why I prefer this one. The IT Cosmetics one, for some reason, even if I set it, does not last on me all day. It just disappears. And I'm not oily. It's not because the oils are breaking it down. It just likes to disappear. Now, when you first put it on, it's gorgeous. It's flawless. You look airbrushed in full coverage. But this lasts all day. And... Um, I really like this. This color is way too light for me right now. Um, it's the shade Fair. So it's it kind of, uh, I have to mix it with a little bit of the It Cosmetics or I put a little bit of this on top. Um, but this has great coverage. It's formulated more like a foundation so it gives you more coverage than your average CC cream. And it has SPF of 30 which is fabulous. Um, this CC cream compared to the Smashbox BB cream, the main difference is the fact that the CC cream has a more luminous type finish, more dewy. So it's formulated more for normal to dry skin. If you're normal to oily, I would say try the BB cream because it's not going to, it's, it has more of a matte finish. Um, a little of this goes a long way because it gives you so much coverage. I really like this a lot. So this is what I've been throwing on before going to the gym on days where I have a lot of breakouts. And lately I've had a lot of breakouts because I may or may not have ate like seven cookies last night. And I'm not going to tell you what else accompanied those cookies. But let's just say it was a lot. And then when I eat sugar, I get a lot of breakouts, which is why I'm telling you that. So um, I've been wearing this to the gym because, I mean, I can go and whatever. But... I don't like to have to look at my zits. So I like to put a little bit of this just to kind of even things out. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's my spiel on that. Okay, now, um, this. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, and I'm really happy I took the plunge and bought it. I was so, so on the fence. I was not going to buy this. I wasn't. I watched a ton of videos. I had talked myself out of it. It's another neutral palette. You don't need it. 
But then I swatched it and I had a return and a merchandise credit at Ulta and I decided, you know what, I don't have to pay full, full price for that. I'm just going to buy it. And I'm so happy I did because guys, I really like it. Um, so the packaging is, is different. It's fun. It's, it, I actually really like the gold. Um, the reason it, and what sold it for me is this shade right here called Punk. This is what I'm wearing in my outer V and primarily, mainly the only color with the exception of um, Stark as like a blending out shade. And then I have these two colors right here, these two lighter colors on my lid. And you're thinking, well, geez, Chelsea, I'm sure you can find those exact shade, same shades in something else. And you're right, you can. One high, Isaac, and then you... <laughs> We, we will return. Just a second. What do you need? Time. Hi. I got a chuck. You got a chuck? Yes, you do. He's got a new sweater on. We hit up Target yesterday. All their kids' clothes are buy one, get one half off this week. So he got a couple new outfits and Chloe got a couple new dresses. Yep. All right. Say goodbye to them. Bye. I'm sure they love to see your lovely face, but it's nap Bye. time. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to say no to that cuteness. Like, he's just so stinking cute. It just kills me. Okay. Anyways, I... Okay, so I was in the store, and I swatched these colors, and I was like, you know what? The formulation on these is different than the other ones. I've used this probably three times this week, and I really love how they perform and I do love the assortment of colors in here now don't let that pink shade fool you it's not as uh, full-on pink as it looks in this um, palette here let me give you a couple swatches of the punk color that I used this gold color is stunning I really just am pleased with the performance of these and the assortment of colors just make it very wearable. And I'm finding more and more as time goes on that what I used to buy and what I like to wear now and what I used to buy then and wear are kind of different things then meaning a couple years ago. I just like things like, I like Easy Glam and I feel like this is a very glamorous palette. It very You can definitely get a smoky eye out of this. You can get a simple daytime look out of this. You can get, you know, that, like this blue color. Let me swatch that here. I mean, this in your outer V, which I already wore a look with the, with the blue in the outer V, is so pretty. It's such a beautiful blue. See, now it doesn't look, it's not as, um, when you wear it, um, it's not as blue as it is in this pan. I can tell you that. It shears out a little bit more to be a little bit more of like a rich navy. Now you can pack on the color to get that bold of a blue. Um, but I prefer it to be a little bit more soft and subtle. Like a subtle blue instead of like wham bam blue eyeshadow. Because that's I don't want to look like Mimi. You know like that's just not a look that I care to go for. So a soft and subtle blue is much more my, my way of wearing that type of color. But I don't know guys. I think... If you're on the fence and you kind, like, I don't, yes, it's Gwen Stefani's palette. I was never, like, head over heels for her or anything, but um, it's cool that she got to design something, and um, I didn't buy it because of her. I bought it because I liked the performance of the colors. I liked their, well, I didn't know when I bought it that they were going to perform good, I was hoping. What I'm trying to say is I like the arrangement of colors. It performs well. If I didn't like this, I would not be showing it to you, and I, quite frankly, would have already returned it. But I really do like it. I really do. So if you're on the fence, it's limited edition. If you like the colors, I'd say just go for it. Because I don't think you'll be disappointed because they do perform really nicely. And that's important because I have other like neutral palettes, but I don't reach for them as much because they don't, they're harder to work with. And I don't have time to fight with an eyeshadow. I have other battles to fight during the day. Eyeshadow is not one of them. Okay, so for my cheeks this week, and actually last week, I have been using this blush. This is MAC's Just a Wisp Mineralize Blush. Now this new packaging compared to the older packaging, I do not care for this. <laughs> it's hard to open. It's actually, it's simple, but it's difficult. Like, it, it just, I don't know. But anyways, it's a beautiful, beautiful, kind of frosty, 
kind of frosty blush. So you almost don't even need to wear highlighter because it it's a, it's a glowy blush. But I put on the highlighter. I mean, I put on the highlighter today. Um, but you don't have to. I've worn this without highlighter because it's already quite glowy. Now, it's a very pink... See how it's kind of frosty, though? If you have fair skin, just buy this. It'll look stunning on your fair skin. It's a very soft, baby, very glowy pink blush. I feel like as I wear it throughout the course of the day, um, I don't feel like this blush lasts on me all day, now that I think about it, because I've worn it and I've looked in the mirror and be like, where did my blush go? But it leaves behind the glow. So like you have a little, it like fades on me. It doesn't stay this pink color, it kind of fades. Like I feel like all blushes turn um, like a neutral, neutral, mauve ish color on me. I don't know, like throughout the course of the day they kind of turn like the, more this dark color. I do have this on, um, but I do really like it. It's so pretty and easy. So like the days where I'm just going to the gym quickly, but I, I want to look a little bit more presentable, I throw on a CC cream, I throw on some brows, I throw on a little mascara, a pretty brightening pink blush because it really just kind of gives you that fresh look, and then I do a light pink gloss. And it's just a very simple, fresh, um, easy, quick, pull together look. Um, and it's just, I, I feel like pink is just a very fresh, youthful color. So, man, that is a beautiful blush though, isn't it? It is very beautiful. So anyways, that's the blush I've been rocking. Now, lips. Okay, so this is my gym easy, don't think about it combo. Actually, I have two. This is the first one. Lancome's Natural Mauve um, lips, Lip Liner. This is uh, a Your Lips But Better color. Actually, it's light. It's lighter than my lip color, but if you want a like easy, simple, it's not, it's called Natural Mauve, but it's not, I don't think it's very mauve on, on me. My lips are very pigmented. On me, it's, it's more like a soft pink, kind of. I don't know, it's a very soft lip color. Isn't that pretty? It's really easy, like you can't screw this up. This is just gonna work. So that's Lancome's Natural Mauve. These stay on. These are very nice um, lip liners. And then I throw this over it. This is the Sephora uh, Oil Infusion Color and Care in the shade Iced Coffee. Looks like this. It's like a very oily, not oily, like slip and slide, but kind of like those YSL tint and oil things, which, by the way, I did return um, because I just thought it wasn't worth the money. It felt great, but it wasn't worth it to me to own it. You know what I mean? Um, okay, but these, these are a better alternative, and they give a little color. So this is, I thought I should just tell you that because I'll do the haul updates on that haul in the spring after like a year, but I thought I would just tell you prematurely if you were thinking about buying one. I just don't think they're worth the thirty-some dollars that they are. I mean, if I'm going to spend thirty-some dollars, I want to see some color, you know what I mean? Not just like a clear gloss. So that's the iced coffee. So fill your whole lips in with this, throw this on, that is the perfect, easy, everyday, goes with anything, goes with everything, um, lip color. Like, it's just, I mean, you, it's just easy. Like, it's just a great color. It's not going to give you a lot of color, but it's going to give your lips some contour, some definition. It, you're not just going to look like you have nothing on. You know that look where it's just emphasizing you? That's what this does. This is a great gym combination if you want to have a little something on your lips. Now, this does not last, I don't think. But when you fill your whole lips in, you still have that same pigment. Um, you're just going to lose the gloss factor after a while. But I think that's gorgeous. It's just easy. This is actually a great nude lip for a smoky eye, too. And then, okay, and then the other thing that I was pairing with the Lancome Natural Mauve is this. These are great. I have two of these. These are the Smashbox Lip Lacquers. Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquer. These are a stain. They're also opaque like a lipstick, and they're shiny like a gloss. So as the glossiness wears off, these legit stain your lips. I went through a hardcore workout and I came out of the gym, looked in the mirror, and my lips were on point. <laughs> they were 
everything else is a hot mess, but my lips were looking fly. Um, this is the shade Rosewater. Now, I think this is exclusive to Nordstrom. I hope they still make this color because it is a great pink shade. It looks bright, but as it, as it stains and wears off, it gives you a really nice rosy pout, which I'm kind of into right now. So that's Rosewater. So I put it over this, which gets rid of some of the pink factor, kind of tones it down a little bit. But this is so opaque. You see how it's opaque like a lipstick, glossy like a gloss, and then it's going to stain. Really nice. And these come in lots of colors, too. So if this doesn't, you know, toot your horn, uh, they do have lots of other colors. Okay, and now the my favorite thing this week. Besides this, this is my other favorite. This is the Buxom Bold Gel Lipstick. Um, I wanted to try this formula, and so this is the one that I have. And now I want more. Now they come in um, matte, and they come in a non-matte, which is a, like a glossy satin finish. But this matte is so comfortable, so comfortable. This is called Red Inferno. It's just a very classy, pinkier red. It's like a pinky red lipstick. Now, I love this so much, I almost want to go back and get the darker red that I almost bought. It's so, the formulation, it's comfortable. I can't even feel it. It's a lightweight, almost like moussey type. I mean, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it, but it's kind of like a moussey texture a little bit. Like it's whipped, like it's not a heavy, you're layering on like this thick thing. It's like lightweight and great and so, I'm, I love it. I love it. It's not like say a liquid lipstick kind of matte. Like this is heavy. Like, I can feel this. It almost feels like it's cracking. Like, gosh, I love the colors, but man, why do they have to be so uncomfortable? I don't know. This is much better. I, I really enjoy this. And these come in lots of shades, too. I want more. I always want more. Don't we all always want more? Like, you, you create a wish, a wish list, right? And you eventually get everything on it. And then there, you think you're content, and then all of a sudden they come out with something new and fabulous, and then you want that, and then something else, something else, and then someone else convinces you need this, and then, like, there's always a want. <laughs> My husband's like, does it ever end? I wish I could say yeah, but I'd probably be lying. No, it never ends. <laughs> so, is that all I have this week? Gosh, I felt like I had more, but I'm sure I've talked long enough. Um, love this necklace. This is from Bobble Bar. This is the Courtney Bibb necklace. Um... I think this is my, well, it's not my top favorite thing from Bobble Bar, but one of my most favorite purchases. And so, yeah, um, the next video then you'll see from me after tomorrow is uh, Chit Chatter Day, uh, the 26th of December. So, I hope you guys have a fabulous, really merry Christmas. And I will definitely see you before New Year, so I'm not going to tell you Happy New Year. Uh, <laughs> And I hope that you get everything that you wished for, that you're wishing for, and that you enjoy your family. Definitely, if I can encourage you to do anything, it's to take the time to spend with your family, spend those extra moments, enjoy a couple cocktails together, and, you know, just food, and have good time, play games, you know, laugh together, because it's so important. And you never know when your last moments together are going to be, so... Cherish them, take pictures, and just enjoy it. So, Merry Christmas from my family to yours, and I will see you guys tomorrow.